Hi, everybody. This is Movies Yoga with Via. Um, today is August 16th, 2022. And we're going to start in the regular um, way. Look at Kathy. This is... Um, it's called uh, static rest. One of one of the many things it's called actually static rests. So you're going to do a um, the knees. Oh dear! Did she freeze again? No, I'm here. Oh okay. The, the knees, and knees are bent at 90 degrees, hips at 90 degrees. I actually like to pull my hips a, a little farther away from the chair so I can feel that my pelvic pelvis is even, not tilted nor tipped. And you can actually find that. Yeah. Here. And we're going to put, put, put um, a timer on for seven minutes. And just watch your breath. And bring yourself, your entire self, your entire being into the room, into the, the practice. This is for you.
Okay, your time is up, but I want you to stay here. And just move your head from right to left, to mm -hmm. left to right, then back and forth. Cervical rotation. Now we're going to do the vagus nerve reset. So without moving anything but your eyeballs, you're going to have your eyes open or closed. Shift your eyeballs to the right. Now wait for a sigh, swallow, yawn, or gulp. Come back to center, shift your eyeballs to the left. Don't move anything else. And wait for a sigh, swallow, yawn, or gulp. Come back to center, do this two more sets, right, left, right, left, without my cueing. Do it at your own pace. Whenever you're finished, why don't you give me a, Kathy can give me the high sign. She can be the leader. Are you finished, Kathy? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you're finished, we're going to do head ramping. You can put something else under your head if you like. I like to put a, the alpha therapy balls. You can put a sponge ball, another plus therapy balls. And on this one, what you're going to do is press the occipital ridge, the back of the skull. It's not the vertebra of the neck, which are, or the neck you're pressing. It's the back of the skull, base of the skull. Press that towards the balls on the floor. Your chin will drop. Hold for a, a few seconds. And then release. And do that five more times. Head ramping for posture, mainly mainly for posture. By now you've done this so many times that your 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 body should could be longing for this. So you'll feel all of a sudden you feel like oh I'm I gotta do a hit ramp. At least I have that experience. I want to do a hit ramp. Um, now we're gonna do a breathing practice. This is just a 
you know, we're always breathing. We're always having a breathing practice, but um, you can add variation and change the focus by switching to um, something besides just normal breath. Today, we're going to do um, equal to the um, extended breath ext with uh, pursed lips. So take an inhale, purse your lips, and breathe as if you're breathing through a straw on the exhale, and then make it longer than the inhale. And do about six of these. Extended exhale with pursed lips. Make this the last one. And while you're here and while we're in the breathing second segment, I just want to tell you another breath that is helpful if you're really, really warm, which some of us are going through heat waves. Um, if you, and it's, a, it's similar to this, but different. Um, you're going to curl your tongue. So curl your tongue if you can, and breathe through the curled tongue. So so if you're extremely hot, even if you think you're about having heat stroke, this is something you can do to cool off the inside of your body. Curled tongue breath. Okay, that's just a little added bonus for the class, <laughs> especially for people who are on heat waves. <laughs> okay, let's do let's do a proning hyperpressive. So get up onto your hands and knees. We're gonna do two of these. Get up onto your hands and knees and then drop to your elbows. Create a triangle with your hands clasped and then put place your head there at the top of the triangle. This is the position, Kathy is nicely demonstrating the position. We're gonna take three breaths and then hold the breath out, no breath, and pull the organs up towards the chest. Uh, that's the feeling you should have at your rib cage when you do the no breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. All the way out, no breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Inhale, exhale, drop your hips and come into a child's pose for a transition. In a child's pose, your hands can be uh, holding onto your feet, you know, they come back, or they can be forward. Either one, your arms, hands and arms. Just stay here and rest for a minute. We're going to come back up into the proning hyperpressive. This is really good for COVID. So if you know of anybody that has COVID and has breathing, respiratory problems, this could help and it will help even doing it in a, 
now is going to help for later. So come back up into um, hands and knees, but then drop to your elbows, then drop your head between your clasp hands. You should have a long line, straight line between your hips and your head. Three breaths, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, all the way out. No breath, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yay! Come back into a child's pose just to rest and stretch the spine. And then find your way onto your back. We're going to do some supine basic leg work. Knee, knee work with supine um, bent knee leg lifts and side drops. And then we'll do a figure four. So I think I'm going to try to get on the floor and do these with you. This is fun. <coughs> so you supine your head's on a... a Towel, stack of towels. Your knees are bent. And all you're going to do is take your right leg up, keep the knee bent up, and then down. That's a bent knee leg lift. Do this. Let's do this six times on this side. So up and down. You should feel core work here. Keep the knee at ninety. Keep the knee at ninety degree angle. And number four. I hope it's number four. Or so, and five. So slow it down, everybody. And the last one, six. Other side. Bent knee leg lift up and down. And number two, think of where, what's moving? Where is the movement happening? Three, four, two more, five, Last one, six. six. Now, this time, bent knee side, side drops. You're just going to drop your knee out to the side and keep the hips flat on the floor and do it slow. This is number two. And three. Feel the core work as you come back up. Four. Five. And last one, six. Other side, bent knee, side drop. One. Try not to move your um, pelvis, just move the leg in the socket. Number three. Four. Five.
six. And now just go ahead and bring your right knee forward towards your face and then cross your left ankle over, figure four. And from here, so this is a hip opener, but I want you to play with your toes. So one of the things you can do is a handshake. So the, the and you might have to pull your, your foot a little closer to your face. But hopefully still resting uh, on the knee, on the thigh or knee. And then once you have a handshake, all the toes, all the fingers between all of the toes, you can just stay there, that's a toe opener, or you can start to move, a, make a circle with your ankle. And circle six times one direction. And six times the other direction. And then on the way to returning your foot to the floor in this bent knee spine position, I want you to uh, stop and pull on your toes. Um, so you're all, you because you have to take your foot off of the knee, off the, your right foot off the net left knee. I want you to pull on your toes and pull on the little toe and the big toe and pull them apart. Let me see something. Let's see if I can do this. I have my glasses up there. Okay. Um, it's more like you're a slingshot at a spotlight. Okay, so it's more like you're a slingshot now. You're going like this. Your leg is, you're on the way back from here to here, but you did this. Pulling the toes apart. This is like you're, a, you're your own toe spreader. Spreading especially focusing on the little toe and the big toe and pulling them away from the center. This is something you could do, I don't know, while you're watching TV. And believe me, it's going to help over the years as as the toes start to, our toes start to go in towards the center. That's what they do for the most part. Now, let's put that foot down and do the other side. So... Uh, you're going to bring your left foot to knee towards your face, cross over, and thread your fingers between your toes. I have to bring my foot down a little bit so I can reach that. Or you might put, if you can't reach, you could reduce the space between your chest and your feet by putting a pillow a bigger pillow underneath your head. Your upper back. So while you're here, just circle. Circle the ankle. So you're spreading the toes and circling the ankle. And then reverse the circle about six times. And now release your hands and then make on the way back down to your to home base, grab your toes if you can. Oops, we lost someone. I wonder who we lost. Oh, it wasn't Kathy. <laughs> That's good. Uh, we lost Harvey. I okay. think it was. Okay. Yep. Spread your toes, pull on the toes, the big toe and the little toe. Pull on the toes. Who knew this was yoga? <laughs> pull and pull and pull and pull and pull. And now, drop your foot. 
Now let me look at my script and see what I have next. And mm -hmm. this off. Stop video, no. Remove spotlight. Okay. Come to a floor seated position, everybody. Side bend and spine twist. Okay. Starting with, oh, well, let me set my timer here. No, that's not it. Okay. Take your right hand out along the floor. Left hand up and over. Ooh, I think my arm is getting better. The range of motion on my arm is getting better. Oh, cool. Which is, well, it's, it's been almost a year. So that's what it takes. That's I, That was true of my last break as well. Go ahead and drop your elbow, for, bend elbow forward and find a stretch in your armpit while you're side bending with your thoracic spine. Bring your elbow up, bring your torso up, so it guides. Left arm slides along the mat, right arm up and over. Bring your elbow forward, bend elbow forward, so you can feel an, a stretch in the armpit. And come on up, elbow first and torso next. And the next thing we're going to do is you might want to cross your legs differently this time. We're going to do um, the hip circles. I'll tell you what I mean by that. Hold on. Because I think I do these, do a different version of this than Kathy. So, so the first, and I learned this from one of my original teachers. Um, sit up tall and then Take your flat back and hinge it over your right knee. And then come across, all the way across, with a flat back, by the way, but all the way across to the left knee, and then come up. So maintaining a flat back, but circling. So now we're going to go down. This is left knee, and then flat back all the way across. You can drop your chin a little bit so it's comfortable and then come on up. You should feel core and back working. Number two, go to the right and cross all the way across in front of you and then come on up. Try to keep a flat back, use your core. Left knee, cross in front of you and then come up. We're going to do one more. Right. Go to the right knee. Cross over. And then come on up. And this is the last part, last half of the last set. Left knee. And cross over. And then come up. All right. Let's, we did that. Now we're going to do the ground to quadruped, quadruped to standing. So I, what I'd like you all to do is from this very position, 
I want you to think of how you're going to get up off the floor. Now, um, if I, I would, you can get up any way you want without touching anything. And in the end, we may need a chair to touch. But so without touching anything, what would you do first? And Kathy's going to bring her feet in behind her and come. I'm, I recommend coming into a uh, quadruped ped position. And then bring your right knee forward and uh, put your foot on the floor. And now you may need a chair or something to, or you can, you might be able to just get it up. I think Kathy will be able to just get up. So she's she, one foot forward and now she's gonna bring the other foot forward and stand up. But you might need to put one hand on a chair to do that. So that's um, that's the, the ground to standing, which is actually, by the way, a very critical <laughs> shape to take. Um, now we're gonna do a deep squat which is also going to help. So a deep squat. Uh, you may need a brick. You may be sitting on a brick. We're going to do it for 40 seconds. Um, the deep squat, you're just going to come, come down and either sit on a brick or just drop your bum as far down as you can to stand. So you're on, on your... And you can come into it like Kathy's done, you can take your elbows to, to keep, make your knees wide and put, come into a prayer pose. Whoops, time. Let's time it and breathe. So this is a position that some, some variation of this that I sit all day long on Saturday and Sunday to teach. Um, and I, I think it's a really good position for you to watch TV in. Or, uh, you know, if you're at a book club, <laughs> everyone's sitting in chairs and you can sit like this for at least some of the time um, because what happens when we can do all this squatting and low to the floor work is that it juices our hips, hip joints and keeps us uh, agile for the future. All right, let's see, what do I have next here? Um, let's go to standing. And we're gonna do um, six point foot release with the therapy ball, with the oh. neuro ball. Neuro balls, please. I have to set up. Okay. So remember, you're gonna need one ball because we're only gonna do one foot at a time. I recommend doing the NeuroBall series, the six point, six point release for both hands and feet every day. Well, that's what I recommend. And if someone looks at you strange while you do it, you say, you're, well, my yoga teacher said that I should do this. <laughs> this is what my yoga teacher told me to do. Okay, let's start on the right. The first position is up at the top, just, just in front of the metatarsals. And we're going to stay for 40 seconds. This is going to be the, the longer version. Sometimes I just stay for 30. 40 seconds. And remember, any of these where you where it's available and you um, are interested in it, you can squeeze your toes and spread your toes. And just add, it's just a, called stacking, stacking movements. I am bringing these balls on the Camino. I, I'm happy to teach footwork on the Camino, I'm thinking, <laughs> if people are interested. Okay, position number two, middle of the foot. And on the Camino, there's a lot of problems with feet. So I may have some very happy customers <laughs> after a couple of days on the Camino. 
Well, I don't know. They won't. They won't. They won't have therapy balls. So, except for Leslie, maybe. Maybe I'll bring an extra setup for Russ, and just in case he he decides to do buy into this. series he hasn't bought into yoga yet but he's he's very impressed with my my yoga and my flexibility okay let's go to the third position which is really it's like the ball is your high heel my internet connection is unstable it tells me i'm gonna go tell my so you're 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 at the um, edge of the heel, or right at right there, right at the beginning of the heel. I'm gonna go tell my internet provider. Okay. Yeah. The, the fourth position is on the outside edge of the foot. And you're going to find your own best place. So I do. I every time, and it's probably different every time, actually. You can find the place that's a little bit sensitive on the outer edge of my foot. So we're we're in, increasing the connection between the brain and the foot by and the rest of the body, but by and the foot by um, stimulating the nerve endings. We're in position number four, outside or outside edge of the foot, Parvin. Okay, inside edge of foot. Just finding your own place. Okay, last position on this side, just below the big toe mound. Okay, switch sides, switch feet. First position, number one. Just below the metatarsal mounds, all of them in the center.
Position number two, just below in the center. And now the third position is at the calcaneus, at the heel, at the edge of the heel. Okay, the fourth position outside edge of the heel, outside edge of the foot. Across, go across to the inside edge of the heel. Okay, the next position is move the ball up to up to just below the big toe mound. And there, you're done. I want you to go up. Uh, let's see. I want you to, let's balance on one foot. So oh. stay near your chair, standing. Um, I don't know whether you want to be on that or not, Kathy, but so well, Kathy's, I, Kathy's using this little thing because of her carpet. It's a wee platform. It's a wee platform because of her carpet. 
Just yeah. no, this is you don't need a platform like this. Yeah. You're gonna stand on your let's stand on your left foot and lift your right knee forward in front of you. You can do any variation if you want, but we're gonna time for 40. And because you're all old timers, I'm not gonna mention the variations. <laughs> And Kathy's doing some of them. And just, uh, if you can do this without touching your chair, this is even better. You should be practicing this every opportunity you get. There's lots of statistics now on balancing and longevity. If you lose your balance, you're going to die sooner. I don't want to scare you, but... <laughs> I don't want to scare you. Okay. Switch sides. I do this at the grocery store using the grocery cart. I do this in front of the microwave when I'm waiting for it to finish. Yeah. So there you go. There's lots of different places to do this. The more you do it, the longer you live. Hopefully you can take all, a lot of things you do in class and and integrate them into your life. Now, that was it. That was it. We're done. Um, let's do short, short stance, split stance, short foot. You're going to stand with one, one foot forward. That's that's the call. That's the split stance. This is a split stance. And while you're here, we're, I'm going to have you. I'm going to cue you to try to find your core. Uh, you'll you'll see. So your one foot is behind you. One foot's forward. You're going to lift your toes, spread your toes, and then drop your toes uh, flat. So don't so that they're flat and press into the floor. And this is called a short, uh, uh, short foot because you should feel the arch getting a little shorter and higher actually, but your foot getting a little shorter. And now while you're there, let's so let's do it again. Release it and then lift, lift your foot, lift your toes and lower your toes and keep them flat and press into the floor. And now, you found the arch, now find your core. See if you can find your core, the lowest transverse abdominal muscles. And just stay here and take a couple breaths. And then switch sides. This is something you can do anywhere. It's a little more complicated to remember. I hope you Become good friends with it though. Lift, spread, lower, and keep them flat. You don't want to. You don't want to um, curl them. And find your arch. Find your short foot. And then release and start again. Lift your toes. Spread them, lower the toes. Don't curl them, lower the toes. I think Kathy froze because she's not lowering her toes. Well, I don't know what that means about me. And find the core. I'm gonna keep talking as if you can hear me. Uh, and the, the picture is the only thing that's frozen. And then whenever you're done, Finish that. Caitlin, you can fold the edge of your mat over or put something under your wrists to make them easier. But when you inhale, round your back, round your shoulders, your head comes down, 
And then when you exhale, it's the opposite. You're pressing your belly towards the floor, belly button towards the floor, head is up. So we'll do this a couple more times. at your own pace. And finish up. The next thing we're going to do is called bird dog. So we'll start with our right leg, slide it along the mat, and then lift it up. Since we started with our left leg, we're going to lift, or excuse me, I said left leg and I lifted my right leg. <laughs> okay, so since we started with our right leg, let's lift up our left hand straight across. And just hold that position. This is core work. <clears throat> Come on down. Now we'll start with the left leg. <laughs> so you slide it along the mat and then raise it. As high as you can. If you can't keep it up, that's okay. But if you can keep it up, and then your right arm goes straight out and just hold this position as long as you can. Try to keep your hips level. Come on down with your hand. Come on down with your foot. Now let's shake our hands out because they've been doing some work. Now, Kathy, I, mean, I think that we can stop there just to honor time. And, okay, uh, that's and, fine. And do well, that. When I, yeah, when I was, uh, when I dropped, I was about to say, let's go to, go to Yoga Nidra, let, but let's go to Yoga Nidra now. Okay. And uh, right. Thanks for covering for me when it dropped. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. That was good. That worked really well, I hope. I know, find a comfortable position. In a comfortable position where you feel safe and warm. Not too <clears throat> warm. Not too warm. <laughs> Um, begin your begin to pay attention to your breath, breathing in and out, and observing your belly as it rises and falls with the gentle flow of your breath. And now bring your attention and awareness to the center of your eyebrows, the center of your throat, right shoulder, elbow, wrist right thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, right wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, left shoulder, elbow, wrist, left thumb, Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, left wrist, elbow, shoulder, center of your throat, spiritual heart center, right side of your chest, heart center, left side of your chest, heart center, navel center, center of your pelvis, right hip, knee, ankle, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, right ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, left hip, knee, ankle, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, left ankle, knee, hip, center of your pelvis, navel center, heart center, center of your throat, 
center of your eyebrows. This completes the uh, 61 point guided yoga nidra meditation. Go ahead and extend your legs and bring your arms overhead by your ears and stretch in both directions, trying to create a little more space between your rib cage and your pelvis. Stretch one side, then the other, and then both. And then wiggle your fingers and your toes. And rotate your wrists and your ankles in one direction. And then the other. And then hug your right knee to your chest and hold it. Big hug. Extend your leg, right leg along the floor. Hug your left knee to your chest. Big, big hug, big squeeze. And then extend your left leg along the floor. And both knees, hug both knees to the chest. This should be very different feeling than the one at a time that you just did. And um, rock, from, rock and roll from side to side. And then whenever you're ready, roll to one side. Hold on, let me find the timer here. And we're gonna spend a minute, uh, roll to one side, stay here and spend some time thanking your body and your cells for, for, for coming to this practice with you and for taking care of you and this is a this is a self love practice you can thank each of your body parts if you want And then go ahead and use your top hand and bring yourself up to a seated position. I'm going to remove the spotlight. I'm going to put my view in gallery. You can do that too. Bring your hands together in prayer pose. Press strongly. There's a funny echo here, but press strongly. Firmly, see if you can find some of the muscles in your back. And then soften up your prayer pose and lift your, keep your shoulders relaxed, but lift your occipital ridge up so that you can rock and roll forward, leaning, nodding, bowing, acknowledging the light in each of us. and knowing that we're all one light. We're gonna close the class by saying to each other, namaste. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you, and thanks, Kathy. Thanks, guys, it was almost seamless.